Joe Lozon will walk into a UFC octagon for the 23rd time in his career, taking on former Bellator fighter Marcin Held, who will be having an identical reach as Joe Lozon, of course, the experience inside the UFC. Diametrically opposed here, we saw Marcin Held make his UFC debut last year in a loss to Diego Sanchez, a man that Joe Lozon beat last year. So why is this fight happening? Joe Lozon obviously wins. Yeah, I actually do think Joe Lozon wins this fight, but I think it's gonna be a hell of a battle. I think that Joe- A hell Lo of a battle. <laughs> I really think that he's going to take it to Marcin Held. He's going to beat him in the stand-up department. But I'm interested to know, because if you've watched Marcin Held's uh, career, he's primarily a ground specialist. That's how he looks to finish fights. And we, Joe Lozon, although he's an action fighter in the stand-up department, we also know that he has a ton of submissions. I would love to see him engage Marcin Held on the ground and see these guys roll around. But I have a feeling if they do get there, uh, Joe Lozon isn't going to be thinking this is just a grappling We, we match. also, though, for, forget at times Joe Lozon and his striking. Yeah, Not to say exactly. he's top of the class, but especially against Diego Sanchez, a fight where you can easily get into a brawl. He was very precise, he was patient, and it was his hands that won that fight against Diego yeah. Sanchez, who is not a guy that too many people have finished, the only other being BJ Penn. Yeah, exactly. I mean, the, yeah, the dude loves to throw hands, man. He loves to get in a box, and uh, he'll want to do that. But I have a feeling he's a lunatic. Yes. So Lozon is a lunatic. He's amazing. That's why we love him. Uh, I have a feeling he'll want to test it on the ground as well. Uh, but, you know, it is a simple, some of these fights are as simple as they seem. Many are very complex these days. Many things are not as they seem. But this one feels cut and dried. If you're Joe, if you're his family, if you're his, uh, his team, you say, hey, let's keep some space between this guy and put combinations guy. on him, yeah. What did you see out of Marcin Held? Because, you know, we had seen his body of work in Bellator. A very good lightweight challenge for the title at one time against Will Brooks, but there was a certain level of competition that he would come up short against. So that's what made the Diego Sanchez fight interesting. This was a fight in Mexico City. I think that played a factor later into the fight on Held as well. Uh, but it was also his first fight in the UFC. Do you see him making the necessary adjustments here? Because Diego Sanchez was a fight that could have really propelled him to start his UFC career off. Yeah, I think for Marcin Held, I think it's gonna be a slow, long build for him. You've seen his improvements in the stand-up game, but this is what his bread and butter is. If he can catch you here, he'll, I mean, he's going after Diego Sanchez, uh, one of the best jiu-jitsu guys ever, maybe the, the greatest jiu-jitsu uh, practitioner, Marcelo Garcia. He had a hard time submitting Diego Sanchez. Yeah. So Marcin Held, you got to give him props for constantly going after it. That's the way he is trying to secure a victory. And I think it's an interesting story. A guy that's, yeah, I'll stand and trade because it's part of mixed martial arts. But if I have my way, I'm going to try to lock up a heel hook or a knee bar. And that's part of his appeal. I, I don't think he's going to hit his stride until he's closer to 30. And you may not get the chance. I mean, it is tough, man. You get into the UFC and you got Diego Sanchez and Joe Lozon, who are currently later in the top 20. You know, and uh, both are names, both are names that you can, uh, if you can win the fight, you establish yourself, but you come in there and you drop fights to those guys and all of a sudden all the, the prospect label starts to waver. So there's pressure on this guy too. Joe Lozon, I mean, it's, it's no small task, the fact that this guy, this will be his 23rd fight in the UFC. That Office. first fight against Jens Pulver, we're now over a decade removed Amazing. from Amazing. UFC yeah. 63. I mean, we have seen this guy uh, put together one of the best body of works that you're going to see amongst any UFC fighters at this point. And this is not someone that is necessarily fighting for uh, championships at this point, but he goes out there. I think he has a, he very much has his eye beyond fighting as well, staying, staying healthy for that as well, and not necessarily just being the guy that goes out there with no game plan to just have fight of the nights. This is someone that I feel does take that into account here and, and fighting smarter as he's getting older. And you say smart. I mean, we've all talked to Joe Lozon. The guy is intelligent. Mm -hmm. He has it all together. So for him, to, he's looking at life after fighting. But what's so strange is once he gets into that chaos, once he gets into the cage, he fights like a lunatic. That's just something in him. He's constantly looking to batter his opponent to get the stoppage win in an exciting matter. That's just who Joe Lozon is. And oddly, when we spoke to him in Vegas, he was like, I feel like if I go in there and it's a crazy fight, but we get it done in a minute, even if I take a lot of damage, that's less than if it went 15 minutes. Joe is smart, but he's also crazy. crazy. It's going down on Sunday night. The main card will be kicking off at 10 p.m. Eastern time on TSN5, featuring Joe Lozon taking on Marcin Held and your main event of Yair Rodriguez and BJ Penn.